in today's video let's discuss about the difference between the lump load and the static load basically this video will help while modeling in etf software while modeling some loads let's say for this lv load here if you see this 415 volt load it is one lump load is modeled and I will show you in comparison with this lump load how to model this static load as well there is a static load here you can see this is the static load so during modeling during modeling these loads what is the basic difference between these two types of loads let's understand that firstly let's go to the lump load here here under nameplate tab this rating is 1 MVA 1 MVA and power factor is 85% and here load type constant power or the constant KVA this is 80% and constant impedance is 20% that means 80% motor load and 20% static load is considered. So this is the status. Let it be like this. And we will go to the static load as well. Here under this loading phase. We will put the same value as 1 MVA. Just like the lump load. We will put here 1 MVA. So 1 megawatt because this power factor is 100 percent this power factor is 100 percent by default it will come because this is the 100 percent static load that means it is 100 percent power factor we will not change this let it be like this so as of now we can understand that 1 mba 1 mba lump load and one MBA static load is modeled. Quickly, we'll run the load flow study here, and we'll try to understand the basic difference between these two. This is, as you can see, this is 80% power factor, and it is drawing 856.1 kVA apparent power, and here. For the static load it is 100% power factor and it is drawing 1036 kva apparent power and current it is 1416 ampere and it is here for the lump load it is less current 1170 ampere and also if we check at a real and reactive power for the lump load it is 727 0.7 kilowatt and here it is 1036 kilowatt and here the reactive power is drawn by the lump load is 451 k bar while for the static load it is 0 k bar because this power factor is 100 percent now let's change this power factor instead of 100 percent just like the lump load will simply put the 85 percent as the power factor now we will run the load flow once again still still you can see the difference between these two if we check the power factor here power factor is 85 percent for the lump load and for the static load it is 85 percent but the apparent power or the real and reactive power drawn or the current drawn by the by these two loads are different power factor is same but the real and reactive power drawn by these two loads are different here reactive power drawn is 446 k bar and here 518 k bar why this difference though the power factor is same for both the cases to understand this difference we need to go back to this lump load modeling okay now 
here under this nameplate tab this is fine 1 mba this is also fine 85 percent power factor but here you can see the constant kva 80 80 percent that is 80 percent motor load is considered in in this lump load and 20 percent static load is considered so now we will check by considering this load as 100 percent 100 percent static load so now it is 100 percent static there is no motor load that means constant power constant kva load is zero percent and this constant impedance which is considered as static load 100 percent now let's run the load flow analysis yes now you can see this is 441 kvar this is 519 kvar and if we check the power factor both in both the cases power factor is 85 percent here is also 85 percent so from this from 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 these case studies we should be very much careful while modeling the loads at as a first step while considering the modeling activities based on the load list of a particular project we should be very much careful whether the loads which are being modeled whether these loads are purely static loads or it will be considered it will be modeled as a lump load because there is a basic difference we will get the different results in both the cases we cannot we cannot model the static load as a lump load or inside a lump load if we change all the loads as a if we consider 100 percent static load and considering the same power factor just like the static load in both the cases the result will not the same so we should be very much careful while while modeling this lump load and the static load the the thumb rule is whenever we are modeling this as a lump load we should consider we should consider what is the percentage of the you know that inside that lump load what is the motor load motor load contribution and what is the static load contribution based on that we will specify the lump load power factor also and while the loads are purely static we should mention as a we should model as a static load only and this power factor should be 100 percent and not 85 percent or any other 90 percent power factor since this is static load so so after this in this video i hope there is a there is a you know a uh, small concept while we are doing the modeling activities in etap software it may help it may be helpful for you